This is the Walton Water Treatment Works where we output about 70 million litres of water a day. The works is running 24-7 most days of the year. The works here are to meet the requirements of the National Environment Programme which is set out by the Environment Agency and fulfils the requirements of the eel regulations. The screens we're using here from Hydrolox have a 2mm mesh size which drops the velocity of the water and prevents fish and eels from actually getting close to the intake area. The programme of works here is the first of a series of multiple projects that are going to be delivered at sites along the River Thames to meet this programme. Hydrolox designed and fabricated uh, fish exclusion screens to meet the 2009 eel regulations while maintaining the required inflows for Thames water. We needed specialist equipment um, that had been used before so we chose the Hydrolox product and we designed our whole installation around that. A factory manufacturing environment uh, ensures uh, material quality and fabrication quality uh, while controlling health and safety at all times. The contractors that we've used, Hydrolox, are able to offer a really good solution. The m and &E installation team, Bridges, uh, have been able to offer an off-site fabrication facility which has allowed us to reduce the time we've spent on site and improve the safety of the project. So Bridges were engaged in the project early um, to uh, deliver the detailed design development. Um, we also designed the mechanical electrical and all the control systems for the project. We put this design into construction delivering 60% of our build off-site, which included detailed testing of a screen installation within a factory control environment. So at the beginning of the project, we got all the contractors together into one room where we could have a discussion about how we were going to deliver the project, and make sure that we allowed for any of the blockers. Then, while we've been delivering the project on site, we've made sure that the team can come in together on a weekly basis where we can discuss the works for the week ahead and how we're going to make sure that it's all delivered on time and efficiently. The key was early involvement of people who had practical experience and knowledge of doing this job. If we could bring their knowledge in early, it would make the construction phase a lot more easier, as it, as it has been. So the benefit of having the team working collaboratively meant that we were able to factor in any kind of delays or difficulties that we could see throughout the project. This allowed us to plan them into our programme, make allowances for them and allow for a much smoother delivery of the scheme. We had to consider um, how much outages Thames Water could allow on the intake, so it was fairly clear from the start that we needed to um, build in the water rather than creating a dry working area with temporary works. Um, and for that reason we went for a piled foundation which would extend above water level so we could safely install the platforms. I think the benefits of off-site manufacture are the massively reduced time spent on site to actually install the new pieces of equipment and the reduction in the risk to those who are actually assembling the equipment in the off-site facilities. The advantages of factory manufacture are improved safety due to now only having to control our own risks um, than those found typically on a construction site, especially when you have the added risk of working above fast flow and water. Well building stuff in a factory is a more controlled environment and um, you can see the environment we've got off there, the, the, the River Thames is, has a lot of risk to that environment. It will take a lot longer and be a lot more complex to actually construct something over the River Thames. Platforms would be off-site manufactured and dropped onto the top of the piles and then the screens would slot in and that way we reduce the risk by off-site manufacturing the platforms and working above water rather than too much in the water and reduce the construction period. We used BIM to investigate how um, the operation and maintenance of the screens would be done and whether there would be any difficulties with reaching particular parts of the, the kit. So the Factory Thinking Initiative allows the construction of the bulk of the project to be done off-site. This means that it's a much safer environment, we're able to control external factors much more effectively and then once we come to the site we have much fewer overheads because we're there for a shorter period of time and have a much smaller impact on the surroundings. The platforms were installed in just a day and a half which is really impressive and I was really excited to how well that went. 
and the screens are also just dropped in from a crane, they come to site pre-assembled and again that reduces construction time. So issues particularly related to this site were that we were working over water and underwater for a period of time through the works. This obviously has more complications because you're working in a more difficult environment. The plant also had to stay operational through the entire period, so we had to make sure that any activities we carried out didn't impact the works. Working on a river comes with particular safety risk, and particularly when flows are high in the river, so we wanted to minimise the risks to people during construction. And for that purpose, we made sure that um, the, the construction could be done as quickly as possible with as little risk as possible. So the off-site manufacturing aspects really reduced the risks for people during installation. So the advantage of Thames Water through this method of delivery and manufacture is that the off-site build factor of it allows us to deliver in a much shorter space of time on site, reducing the risk to personnel, the impact on the surroundings, and it reduces our overhead costs. Like every site, we had the factory thinking where we can bring something onto site, but they're the unknowns, the specifics on the site. Specifically in this one, we were working off the river and under the river. They were the unknowns that we have overcome, but it took some effort and thinking to, to, to overcome them. The contractors have been able to deliver the project in a very safe and timely manner. The off-site fabrication section of the project has been delivered far quicker than originally anticipated. Our main concern is not interrupting operations in any form. I think we've done that successfully by the way we've planned the job. We've not had any junctures where we've had to say you're not taking water or we're affecting your core business, which has been very beneficial for Dems Water.